Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be doing another speed build, but I wanted to quickly talk about the new update that came out. Um, I kind of was thinking about maybe making a separate video talking about it, but I think my game would be too laggy to record in like real time to look at all the swatches. So we'll just look at it right now real quick. And I'm just really excited. I swear, I complain in all of my videos about the swatches. I saw that this update came out, I think, like a while ago. But obviously, I'm really behind on everything. So it's fine. Think. Okay, cool. Okay. Bruh! <laughs> the curtains! The curtains! Oh my god. This is all I needed. Oh my god, hold on. Oh my god. I, I can't breathe. Guys, the table. Like, oh my god. <laughs> the wood. I can actually use those curtains now. They look so weird because they're all like beige. But there's a white swatch. Oh my god. What, my tab is like glitching out. Okay, I really don't know the names of anything. But this looks like a lot of stuff. Okay. <gasps> Ooh. These beds are actually nice. But the swatches on it were kind of ugly. So that's good. It's kind of funny because they choose some of the items that I really just don't use. But it's fine. Okay colored stoves interesting it's kind of blurry but like the curtains oh my god they have a white one bro i have like custom content for that i can just delete the custom content i don't think you understand how crazy this is look at the wood also this science thing has in white amazing good also these chess tables in white thank you all of these things oh oh my god you're kidding me oh my god i i literally like these counters so much because they look really cool but i didn't like the swatches that they came in because they kind of didn't match either but look at this it's in white oh my god oh my god guys Guys, I'm shaking. <gasps> what? The window. Oh my god. The window boxes and. The oh my god, I'm speechless. I, I don't know if I'm over exaggerating right now. They're in white. Like. <gasps> oh my god. This is a joke. I need to like redo all my builds now. Oh my God, these windows are in what? <gasps> oh my God. Can you even see? I don't think you can see my cursor right now, but the white like Victorian windows, all these white, the white. <laughs> I feel so like inspired to build. Oh my God, these modern windows are finally in. These windows are white. We gotta go. We gotta go build something or like at least look at the items. Like, hey guys, so now this is voiceover gen, you know, voiceover Dodo games. And basically, I just said, I just decided to do a quick speed build because I wanted to see like if I could tell the difference with the swatches. And I don't know if I'm just like not an observant person, but. Why was it so hard for me to figure out what was new and what wasn't? It, it was weird, I don't know. But basically, I was just building a starter house. And I wanted to see if I could make it look nicer than my other starter homes. Because like whenever I build, I'm like complaining about how there's like not enough swatches or stuff. A lot of the items that I wanted to use were actually too expensive for a starter house like the counters we looked at earlier i really wanted to use them but they're like one of the most expensive counters so i decided to go with the cheapest counters but it was good because those actually came in different swatches too and i looked at those and i really liked them i was also looking at the window swatches because in the pictures that they gave there's like the white versions but it was kind of throwing me off because I swear some of the windows I used had the white version and some of them didn't. 
So I was kind of forced to just use the whitish grayish one so it would match with the other windows if that makes sense. It was, it was weird, like, I don't know if they are finished updating the windows, because I swear some of them aren't updated. I don't know. Is it just me? Also, I think if they change the doors, that would really help. Also, I think this is a new wood swatch that I'm placing down. I put it outside and I was looking at the other different wood swatches, and I literally feel like a fool because I cannot differentiate if it was new or not like when i was looking at some of the items here like i could tell that this coffee table that i used was a different swatch also these counters um i could tell because there's like a bunch of lines for them now before it was like three and now there's a bunch which i'm really thankful for actually at first i thought the sofas i placed there were new swatches but i couldn't even tell so i decided to use like the same sofas i was having a hard time with the budget so i had to like downgrade on a bunch of items like i think i wanted to choose like the second cheapest fridge and the second cheapest stove but i had to choose like the cheapest one so maybe if you ever do play in this house upgrade those first in case your house like burns down or something also the back is really ugly just do not look at that like i could not figure out how to make it look normal also the side the right side is very flat just don't look at that i tried to put like a porch there to add some like dimension but there was like no space in the living room so i decided to cut that out just like put a window there and this is kind of the layout that i thought was best i was thinking about maybe switching the kitchen around but in the end that didn't work also these curtains this is actually one of the best things ever like if i don't notice anything else i notice this right off the bat like the white swatches for the curtains are so amazing usually i think i would go for the beige because it just seems warmer but with this house i was kind of going for a more modern vibe so i thought the white was really good for it i was looking at the bed swatches that they added in i liked them i guess but it didn't match this house so i decided to go with this bed i hope that they add more swatches to all the beds if that's possible i don't know if that's asking for too much i also had to take out a lot of things in this house just to fit the budget i mean maybe if i didn't make this like a medium height house i would have saved a bit of money there but it looked kind of weird because it's only one story and one story like short high houses i don't know how to make them look good so I kept it as medium height because I think the original house on this lot was also medium height. When making this house, I was going for maybe a single mother because I left room for a nursery or kids room or something. But I didn't have the money to furnish it. So all I could afford was a bassinet in that room. So I just was like, yeah, this is either a single mother or just two parents it doesn't really matter i just thought it was single because i could only fit two chairs at the dining table and i really like using this plant because it takes up so much space um normally i can't put them in other houses because i like to clutter things up but since i can't afford to do that putting a really large plant helps a bunch and this house ended up being i think 19 thousand nine hundred sixty simoleons that's what it said when i checked it when i finished but i'm not too sure because when i placed my salmon it does that thing where everything like depreciates a little bit because it's like quote unquote used so like when i placed my salmon a lot it said twenty thousand and four simoleons so i had to do free real estate but then when I placed the sim on the lot, it turned to 17,000 simoleons. I don't understand. But on the gallery, I think it's 19,960. Also, I noticed the swatches for those like two little books stacked on each other. I thought that was nice. I feel like I should maybe build a house without a money restriction to properly see the new items. But I was just inspired to do something and I was like, might as well do a starter house. And at the end, I thought I was almost finished, but as I was editing the video, I went back in game to delete the chimney 
and replace it with the smaller cheaper one because I always forget that chimneys are really really expensive so I deleted that I also deleted the painting because I needed to put in an outdoor trash can at the end I thought I would have 20,000 simoleons exactly which was really satisfying but when I deleted the chimney it made it even cheaper so you're welcome I guess there were some things I wanted to add in here but I couldn't obviously because it was too expensive like the bookshelf I had next to the TV table. I thought it looked really good together because it kind of looked like a set, but I could only afford to put like a lamp and a plant there. And of course, I had to use debug items for the outside rocks. Even though they're in the debug menu, they're like four simoleons each. So I had to like delete something inside real quick. And here are like these paths i thought they looked so cute with the house like the square paths going up to the door but then i had to delete them at the end because i realized that sims can't walk on them which is really weird in my opinion because i thought you could walk through all debug items but i guess not and i put in these trees i tried to make it like i always do make it look like the surrounding area and this is in willow creek I think it's on a 20 by 20 or 20 by 15. I don't remember, but it's small. I wanted to make this house not pink because it kind of reminds me of my Victorian house, like the pastel one I did a while ago, but I just thought it looked cute. So it's pink and it's called, I named it like strawberry starter because that sounds cute in my opinion. Maybe I could have cut down on some rocks to save a little bit of money, but it doesn't really matter because I went under anyways. Also, I put this pizza in for like the vibe, but I'm pretty sure I'll delete it when I upload it to the gallery because I think it'll be stinky. After I finished editing, I realized I could just make this room smaller because it's a nursery and there's literally nothing in there. So that's how I save some money that way. And I also fixed the roof. It looked a little bit weird, but I think it looks better than how it did before. I fixed the roof in the front because I forgot to do that when I changed the roof, the porch size. I think I wanted to put a, like a bedside lamp, but they were too expensive. Everything is just too expensive. I, I changed the chairs back to the ones I wanted originally, changed the sink back. I wanted to put a bookshelf there, but I didn't have the money for it. So I think that if you were to live in this house, I think the first thing you would need is a skill building object, like an easel or something. Because I feel like those are really important. But I couldn't afford one and I, I didn't see the sim living here as a artist. I kind of thought they'd be like, okay, I always say this, but I thought they'd be like a writer or something. But maybe I just make too many sims a writer. This is the end of the video already. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and please give this video a like. I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.